Chapter 48 Here is the list of the tribes of Israel, and the territory each is to receive. The territory of Dan is in the extreme north. Its boundary line follows the Hethlon road to Libo Hemath, and then runs on to Hazarinan on the border of Damascus, with Hamath to the north. Dan's territory extends all the way across the land of Israel from east to west. Asher's territory lies south of Dan's and also extends from east to west. Naphtali's land lies south of Asher's, also extending from east to west. Then comes Manasseh south of Naphtali, and its territory also extends from east to west. South of Manasseh is Ephraim, and then Reuben, and then Judah, all of whose boundaries extend from east to west. South of Judah is the land set aside for a special purpose. It will be eight and one-third miles wide, and will extend as far east and west as the tribal territories, with a temple at the center. The area set aside for the Lord's temple will be eight and one-third miles long, and six and two-third miles wide. For the priests, there will be a strip of land measuring eight and one-third miles long, by three and one-third miles wide, with the Lord's temple at the center. This area is set aside for the ordained priests, the descendants of Zadok, who obeyed me and did not go astray when the people of Israel and the rest of the Levites did. It will be their special portion when the land is distributed, the most sacred land of all. Next to the priest territory will lie the land where the other Levites will live. The land allotted to the Levites will be the same size and shape as that belonging to the priests, eight and one-third miles long and three and one-third miles wide. Together these portions of land will measure eight and one-third miles long by six and two-third miles wide. None of this special land will ever be sold or traded or used by others, for it belongs to the Lord, it is set apart as holy. An additional strip of land eight and one-third miles long by one and two-third miles wide south of the sacred temple area will be allotted for public use, homes, pasture lands, and common lands with a city at the center. The city will measure one and one-half miles on each side. Open lands will surround the city for 150 yards in every direction. Outside the city there will be a farming area that stretches three and one-third miles to the east and three and one-third miles to the west along the border of the sacred area. This farmland will produce food for the people working in the city. Those who come from the various tribes to work in the city may farm it. This entire area, including the sacred lands and the city, is a square that measures eight and one-third miles on each side. The areas that remain to the east and to the west of the sacred lands and the city will belong to the prince. Each of these areas will be eight and one-third miles wide, extending in opposite directions to the eastern and western borders of Israel. So the prince's land will include everything between the territories allotted to Judah and Benjamin except for the areas set aside for the sacred lands and the city. These are the territories allotted to the rest of the tribes. Benjamin's territory lies just south of the prince's lands, and it extends across the entire land of Israel from east to west. South of Benjamin's territory lies that of Simeon, also extending across the land from east to west. Next is the territory of Issachar, with the same eastern and western boundaries. Then comes the territory of Zebulun, which also extends across the land from east to west. The territory of Gad is just south of Zebulun, with the same borders to the east and west. The southern border of Gad runs from Tamar to the waters of Medabar at Kadesh, and then follows the brook of Egypt to the Mediterranean. These are the allotments that will be set aside for each tribe's inheritance, says the Sovereign Lord. These will be the exits to the city. On the north wall, which is one and a half miles long, there will be three gates, each one named after a tribe of Israel. The first will be named for Reuben, the second for Judah, and the third for Levi. On the east wall, also one and a half miles long, the gates will be named for Joseph, Benjamin, and Dan. The south wall, also one and a half miles long, will have gates named for Simeon, Issachar, and Zebulun. And on the west wall, also one and a half miles long, the gates will be named for Gad, Asher, and Naphtali. The distance around the entire city will be six miles, and from that day the name of the city will be, The Lord is There.